Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mark's RC. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Get an eye full of this whole scene, huh? So I think early on, I'll take a quick moment to talk about some of the modifications that I've done to this thing in the last week or so. It got the wider foam treatment. I kind of wanted to push the sidewalls out on these tires. And I seem to like the look a little bit more. What else did I do to this thing? Oh, it got black set of uh, stamped steel bead locks. I traded some stuff around. This had the silver set, but they're black now. Threw a spare tire in the back. Big work there. Uh, what else? That's about it. I think I'm just about ready to clear coat this thing and matte coat it. Um, I got to put the headlight lenses in and a couple of other small little detail things. Uh, but this build is definitely nearing completion. It's obviously kind of like a running work in progress. Nice three wheel. This little spot right here, just absolutely perfect for this thing. I'm pretty confident with what this type, this truck can do at this point, but it always kind of amazes me at times, like what it really can do when you kind of put it to the test and just. There's often times where it it rarely, rarely do you say it didn't do it, and I blame the tires. It's definitely that setup and the motor. A few months ago, I put one of the Injura, uh, Injura, excuse me, uh, upgrade motors in it. Same thing as the Barrage, I believe. I think it's a 50 class. I'm not sure exactly how many turns they are. And yeah, it looks a little monster trucky, but. It also depends on which way the wheels are turned, and it kind of looks a little more normal here in just a second. And I don't know if I really want to change it, because that doesn't look too bad. I think that, proportionally speaking, I'm pretty happy with the way that looks now. And I fixed the ride height as well. Uh, I gave it the essentially that coil mod that I talked about in the D90 video that I put up just yesterday, um, where I take the gold coils that come with the set of telescoping and Jorah shocks. They send out three sets of coils with that set of shocks. There's some more hyperspeed for you. And so I took those gold coils and I cut those in half again and gave a half coil to each of the shocks like all the way around. So that brought the ride height of this thing down quite a bit. Because I do think it was looking a little goofy. And very thankfully, it still does not make contact in the wheel wells at all. One would think that with tires this size and, and the amount of flex that it has, um, that it would rub constantly, and it does not. Those little dark spots on that rock right there are where I pretty much about bit it. Um, this is a really slick rock, and I thought this thing was going to struggle a lot more than it did, but it did not. It's hard to convey how steep that is, I guess, in video, but that's, that's a pretty legitimate. Speaking of pretty legitimate, that, I mean, why, why would I come back here? I don't know. This is one of my new favorite spots to go. A 
person could get lost up here all day long just messing around. There's so many different locations to just put a truck and start filming. So I think proportionally speaking, those tires and wheels are now, I think that's pretty set. That's where the chrome lugs kind of shine right there. I like that. This is a pretty good side hill with a little bit of a crux. So coming up out of it, you can see the right, right front lifted. It was just, I loved the way it just sort of kissed that tree and pushed it out of the way. I liked that. I don't know why. Just did. And then there's this tiny little wash bowl right here. And now coming up is something I was completely uh, surprised by. I cut to it, obviously here in a second. Yeah, how's your approach angle doing? I for real did not think this was going to go nearly as well as what it does. I thought it was going to sit there and spin. But those are RC four-wheel dive eye rocks, and I guess they just don't sit there and spin. Now this little spot right here actually kind of feeds that narrow little body of water that I was sitting to at the very start of the video. And so it's kind of like this little river that comes out of what appears to be a cave. And in the video, I swore I was like, oh, wow, is that a skunk sitting in there? No, it's not. It's just a rock. And, of course, there would never be a skunk hiding in a little cave by the river. But for a brief second, it had me. You can bet I'll be coming back here quite a bit to do some more filming, I think, over, over the summer. There's a lot more places to go. It won't be just in this location. This was impressive as well. This is basically coming back down that whole bathtub area where I was talking about it being really slick. That whole layer of rock right there is entirely different than everything else and it's incredibly smooth. I really did almost bite it, but the truck just sticks like glue the whole way down, even being off axis a little bit. You'd think it would lift and start sliding right at where it was there a second ago and just holds right on. And I really like this spot. I'm glad this I found this little location where all these little pebbles and debris and stuff had gathered in this little area. Pointing it at the stars on this one, folks. And it just walks right up out of it. Coming up on the end of it here, uh, thanks for sticking around this long if you've made it this far into the video. I'll share with you a little closing scene here so take it easy out there don't forget that hit that like and subscribe button if you would please stay tuned for more look at that place beautiful